I'm going to tell you something that you might not want to hear today, but you might need to hear. God doesn't need your help. I am someone who likes to have control over situations, and that really is a struggle for me. What do I mean by that? I mean that when God has a promise, has a blessing for you, and he has something that he is literally going to bring into your life, he does not need you to assist him in bringing about that miracle. When sweet Sarah and Abraham were given a promise from the Lord that they would have children, even while they're in old age, what they did is they took matters into their own hands. Sarah offered up her servant Hagar for Abraham to sleep with so that they would have children, right? They're trying to help God. But God gave them that promise because God is the one to deliver on the promise. You know what God actually needs from you? He just needs a tiny mustard seed of faith. He doesn't need you to strategize for him, to come up with solutions. He doesn't need you to step on ahead of him. Like, listen, if God has given you this promise, a blessing that's coming from him for you, it's not on you to make that happen. That is something that God is going Going to make happen. It says in scripture that when he moves, no one and nothing can thwart it. And it also says that we make our plans, but the Lord's purpose prevails. So God's promise and God's breakthrough and God's blessing that he has for you is going to happen because God makes it happen. So let this allow you to have rest, to be still, and to wait for him to come through in his perfect timing.